and welcome to today's Daily Dose. Recently, King David has been on my mind. He has such an awesome yet heartbreaking story. From a poor shepherd to a great king, his life is constantly being changed by God. I was recently reading through the Psalms and every time a Psalm by David came up, which is often, he has a lot of them, it just kind of made my heart break. He is constantly asking God to to throw down the liars and deceptors among him and, and those who are trying to overthrow him. And it sounds like he could never really catch a break. But Psalm 143 really struck a chord with me. In my Bible, it's titled, A Cry for Help. Join me in verses 1 through 10. Lord, hear my prayer. In your faithfulness, listen to my plea. And in your righteousness, answer me. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one is alive alive, is righteous in your sight. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing me to the ground, making me live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit is weak within me. My heart is overcome with dismay. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all you have done. I reflect on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. I am like a parched land before you. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Don't hide your face from me or I'll be like those going down into the pit. Let me experience your faithful love in the morning for I trust in you. Reveal to me the way I should go because I appeal to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I come to you for protection. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me on level ground. Again, I feel like saying, poor David, But I also understand some of his feelings right now. He says his spirit is failing within him and he just needs help. Don't we all? But he also lays out a really awesome way for us to get right with God. He recognizes that he's not worthy of God's righteousness, putting David in the right mindset. He tells God how he's feeling He remembers in the midst of all of his struggling, God is good, and he recalls the good that God has done. Then he asks to experience God's love and reveal to him the way he should go. And finally, he asks to learn from God. Are you taking the time to ask God for help? Even the great King David knew he couldn't do it on his own. If you're new to Christianity or you've been doing this for 40 plus years, this is a great model for us on how to be in a right relationship with him. Now there's no perfect order on these, but it's important to spend the time doing these things in your prayer life. To one, recognize God's greatness, to thank him, to express your feelings, to ask for help, and lastly, to learn, which is so important for us as Christians. We're we're never stopping our learning process. I hope this helps your conversations with God this week. Have a great week, and remember, there's never a bad time to talk to him.